Hey, uh, Darren here. Uh, so I don't know if you've seen the news today, but the whole topic of surrogacy is back on the front pages yet again. Essentially, a couple, uh, an Irish man and a New Zealand guy, uh, they went to Mexico, they had three gorgeous young kids via surrogacy, and they've been left in the lurch, basically, in Mexico because the, the agency they've been working with has basically ran with their cash. That's an issue in itself, but it actually got me thinking about the issue much closer to home is that the whole um, idea of couples using surrogacy to have children, to have families. Now this was a topic that I explored in depth for a documentary a couple of years ago called Gay Daddy. If you've not seen it, you can Google it, you'll find it online. Um, but the big thing that struck me at the time was, although people obviously right across Europe and the States are using uh, surrogate mothers to create their families, in Ireland, those kids born via surrogate are actually left in limbo. So whether they're born in a different country, be it in India, be it in Russia, be it in Central America, or if they're born via surrogate here in Ireland, Irish law does not recognise those kids, does not recognise those families. So it means that gay couples and straight couples, let's remember, this is an issue of fertility. It's not an issue of sexuality. It's about anyone who can't have kids themselves naturally may decide to use a surrogate to start their family. It's all about love. It's all about giving children an opportunity to flourish. And that's a really important thing. But in the Irish framework, in the Irish legal situation, we have no... Um, uh, those kids have no rights. Those families are not protected. And I think it's really interesting, given that, you know, we've just celebrated 100 years of this state. It's the 1916 centenary. And um, last May, we, you know, we, by popular vote, gave equal marriage rights to gay and straight people, which is amazing. But I think that the one thing we're not doing in protecting the family right now is that whole area of surrogacy. It's not recognised under the current legislation. And by default, there are families currently raising kids, doing the school run five days a week like everyone else who have children, but those kids are actually um, left in a place of insecurity actually, should anything happen to their, uh, well, to their parents who in law may not be their legal guardian. So I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, I'm not an authority on this subject, but it's something that's very close to my heart. Obviously I love kids, and I think that people should be allowed to have kids via surrogate if they so wish. I know in the UK, it's much easier. I traveled to the British Surrogacy Center and I met with the owners of that there um, who facilitate all sorts of people. We know that the likes of Tom Ford, Ricky Martin, Elton John, they've all got kids by a surrogate and it's great, but it goes, that's, you know, that's, that's celebrity lifestyle in a way, I guess it's, you know, it's, it's unattainable for most people. Um, but I just wanted to throw it out there, see what you guys think, uh, see if you think that the laws are a little bit archaic. I think it is. We've progressed so much in Ireland in such a short space of time in terms of rights for families of all different shapes and sizes, colours and creeds. And I think that this is one topic which we really need to address and we really need to address it soon. I uh, would love to hear what you think. Please leave comments below, subscribe, like this video and share and let's get, the, let's get this topic going because I think it's something that needs to be addressed at a much higher level. Cheers guys!